So you came here interested in learning a little bit about adenosine or adenocard. I'm hoping this can help. First thing to note is adenosine is an antidysrhythmic. Adenosine is used for PSVT, also known as proximal SVT, SVT or supraventricular tachycardia, and you can even use it in monomorphic VTAC. So now you might be wondering, all right, well, what's PSVT? So proximal SVT is basically a new onset of SVT. I've seen some young adults who won't get woken up in the middle of the night and their heart is racing. They call 911 because it feels like their heart's beating out of their chest and it comes and goes. All right, that's typically known as proximal SVT. Now, a lot of times we get patients with just plain old supraventricular tachycardia. That's a rate of oh, greater than 150 for adults and as long as it's stable, okay, so there's really no hemodynamic instability or low blood pressure, chest pain, shortness of breath, uh, signs of shock, things of this sort, um, we will treat with adenosine. Okay, so what adenosine does is it lowers or basically slows down the conduction from the SA node through the AV node, all right? On your monitor, your tech, you're really going to see a long uh, asystole occur. And typically that's when you know that it's working. Okay, so for the first dose of our adenosine, we're gonna use the smaller vial, which is six milligrams. Okay, this vial comes six milligrams and two mLs. It's a rapid push, okay? So this drug works within seconds. Now, like I said, it works on between the SA node and the AV node, which technically is at the top of the heart. It's not within the ventricles, it's within the atrium. Now, you heard me earlier say that this could possibly work for monomorphic VTAC. This is something called SVT with aberrancies. Basically what's happening is it's a SVT, so it's technically starting above the ventricles, the conduction begins, but it's picking different pathways down into the ventricles, and it actually looks like VTAC on your monitor. It'll look like monomorphic VTAC. Now, this drug, when you have a VTAC patient, can be used as a diagnostic tool. And what I mean by that is this drug works extremely fast. According to American Heart, we gotta be giving 150 of amiodarone, 150 milligrams in a 50 cc bag over 10 minutes. Um, 10 minutes can be a while. This drug works within seconds, all right? Its half-life is under 15 seconds. Basically what we would do is we would go ahead and push it. If it works for VTAC, then we know that it's not VTAC, all right? It's really SVT with aberrancies, all right? And SVT with aberrancies, it looks like VTAC, but really it's an SVT, and I've seen it break, I've seen adenosine break uh, VTAC on a few occasions. If it is a true VTAC, and you give adenosine, it shouldn't do anything, okay? This medication works in the SA to AV node. VTAC is a ventricular rhythm, okay? So this should not affect it. Also remember, if your patient is, becomes unstable, if your patient starts showing signs of shock, your patient loses consciousness, your patient starts to pass out due to low blood pressure, whatever the case is, they become very symptomatic, that's when we're gonna go over to cardioversion. Okay, and maybe I'll do a cardioversion video later on. So the pediatric dose of adenosine is, starts out at 0.1 milligrams per kilogram. Okay, again, rapid IV push. Now you might be asking, okay, do I push it at a rate of 150 like I do the adult? The answer is no. Okay, pediatrics, the rate has to be a greater than 180, and for infants, it's gotta be greater than 220. Now remember the same rules apply. If the patient is unstable, you will go to cardioversion, all right? And according to American Heart, uh, your protocols may be different, just so you know. Um, if the patient is stable, we'll start with medications, okay? Like I said, the beginning dose is 0.1 milligrams per kilogram. The second dose is gonna be double that, so it's gonna be 0.2 milligrams per kilogram. So some adverse reactions that you might be getting with these patients, uh, the patient might complain of dizziness, uh, headache. They might feel a very strange uh, wave of 
I don't even know what. Every time I've ever given it, I usually tell them like, hey, listen, you're gonna feel a little weird, okay? We're trying to slow down your heart rate. And when we push it, they make this, oh, oh, and they make this weird noise. And literally on the monitor, it goes flatline for a little bit. So it gets a little scary. And some patients, it lasts a little bit longer than others. I've given the six a bunch of times. And the six, I've seen, I, I think maybe I've seen it work once, um, but usually they go right back to their uh, tachycardic or PSVT or SVT rhythm, and then we usually have to give them the 12, and the 12 usually does pretty well. Contraindications would be um, second degree heart block, third degree heart block, uh, sick sinus syndrome, patients with obvious hypersensitivity or someone who's had it before and says that it you know, made them really sick or pass out or whatever the case is, those are the patients we want to give it to. So always ask the patient if they've ever had a denizene in their, in their lifetime. Well, if this video helps, which I hope it does, uh, I plan to make more uh, videos about medications, about um, treatments, different things of that sort. Um, click like, subscribe, let me know what you want me to review, um, and if you have anything that you want to add to the discussion, please feel free. Um, I'm always down to learn myself. So this is a constant learning for, uh, for everyone. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.